More life-saving training for Minnesota National Guard troops meant a trip to the top of a mountain in Norway. An approaching winter storm has them moving quickly to their next camp where they will take on the challenge of self-rescue when falling into open water. WCCO's Rich Chapman and photo journalist Tom Avillis were there to see it happen. Another night in the field leads to another day of training for Minnesota National Guard troops. This day holds lots of unknowns. Can they hold their own against an approaching storm? And how will it impact their three mile hike up the mountain on skis? I'm thinking about bracing my core, <laughs> stretching my shoulders, uh, breathing. Their load is a lot heavier this time. Equipment plus pine and birch tree parts to help start a fire and to use for bedding. Staying warm and dry are priorities. Like right now, I got the least amount of layers on. I'm a little chilly now, but I know I'm going to be sweating pretty quickly, especially since we're pretty much going straight up for the first probably half mile. This is serious business. Many of these troops are not expert skiers. The Norwegian Home Guard is on hand to make sure they are ready for this challenge. For as much. The command is given and they head up the mountain. The scenery, breathtaking. Many troops seize the moment and take it all in. You get used to it. It breaks out a nice sweat in you. You get up there. Others, especially those who are pulling a load behind them, are having a rough go at it. Up and then down. <laughs> but never down for too long. It's getting better. That's, let's put it that way. It's getting better. They share a laugh but help each other out. As a team, they know they can overcome anything. What is it like dragging that thing? It's awesome. Best day of my life. Part one of this day complete, they reach the top only to face the next challenge, cold water survival training. One of the reasons we do this, it's our life-saving skills if we go through the water. And also it's a part of the hygiene to get cleaned up. Minnesota troops have been out in the field for three days. Kick your feet, kick your feet. If we don't have showers, then we have three choices actually. We have wet wipes, we have a snow bath, and we have... Uh, Polar plunge. Find the base of the pole. <laughs> Cleanliness is important. Get up! But not as important as saving yourself if you fall into cold, open water. First you have to get to the edge, then you get the bottom of the poles, and you just get those into the ice, and you kick off with your feet. Ah, yes! Drop the poles. First time? Yep. For Kelby Olsen, the challenge puts her one step closer to her roots. We actually had family that moved to America from Sigdal, Norway. I am so lucky that I have this experience and to be with everybody back home from Minnesota, like it's just great. What does your name mean in Norwegian? It means little chair actually. So how do you know that? Oh, uh, my grandpa told me he spoke Norwegian. For Nate Lillestal, this trip is a dream come true, coming to the land his grandfather told him stories about. Just knowing the heritage that comes from here, um, my family's from here, so um, it means a lot, you know, getting to come here, so it's pretty cool. They're cold. <laughs> From escaping the cold water to the warming tent and a change of clothes, no time to rest for these troops. They have to build ice walls to protect their camp for the night. The battle against the approaching storm begins. On a Norwegian mountaintop with photojournalist Tom Avillis, Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. And Reg tells us that the troops were able to get those ice walls built before the high winds slammed into their camp. Tomorrow, Reg and Tom will show us more from the mountaintop.